Are dogs colorblind? In this edition of Happy Days, that's exactly what we're going to find out. Welcome to this edition of Happy Days. Today we're discussing, are dogs really colorblind? You see, it's widely accepted that dogs can't see color, but in light of recent studies, it's become apparent that the once readily trusted information is actually less fact than fiction. In fact, while dogs don't see the same colors that we do, they see far more than just grayscale. So what colors can your pup see? Although your dog won't be seeing Technicolor anytime soon, dogs do actually have 20% of the photoreceptor cells that humans have. Photoreceptor cells are the part of the eye that control the perception of color. Since dogs don't have as many of these cells as we do, they see fewer colors and variations in tone. Behavioral tests suggest that dogs lack the ability to see the range of colors from green to red but that they can identify shades of yellow and blue. Essentially, this means that your dog perceives the world in yellow, blue, and gray. So interesting enough, many of the most popular dog toys, well, they're made in colors like red or that safety vest orange, shades that end up to be incredibly difficult for dogs to see. To your pup, well, that red probably looks more like a muddy brown or even black dot. So if your dog can't seem to find that red ball on your lawn, it might just be that they can't tell it apart from the green grass. So how do dogs see the world? Well, beyond their limited perception of color, some experts believe that dogs also have 60 to 80% of the visual acuity that we do. This means that while something may appear crisp and clear to us, our dogs are probably seeing a blurry blob However, dogs do have better sight in dim light than we do, and this vision difference actually helps them out when hunting. So are dogs hindered by this limited color vision? Even though dogs see few colors than humans do, they compensate by having a highly developed sense of smell. So they rely far less on their vision for identification than we do, so their limited color perception well, it's really not a hindrance at all. My friends, thanks for watching this special edition of Happy Days. And please consider subscribing and stay tuned because we have lots and lots more of training coming your way.